Hello my fertility friends, I'm Anne and in this video I explain to you all about pregnancy tests. For example, I explain to you how is the best time to make a pregnancy test, which tests are the best and of course how do pregnancy tests work at all. So there was also a time for me in my life when I want to get pregnant two times and then I tested for you three different types of pregnancy tests. Okay, the first one was a highly sensitive one-step pregnancy test and the second was normal one-step pregnancy test and the third one was expensive one, the clear blue pregnancy test. I compared it with the symptothermal method which I use for my cycle to look at the body temperature and the cervical mucus. It's because if you want to know if you are pregnant then you can also use the symptothermal method for that because the body temperature show you if you are pregnant or not. So now the first question. How does a pregnancy test work? Okay, for that I am show you these pictures on the side. And there you can see on the first step there's the ovulation. On the first step on this picture you can see that the egg enters the fallopian tube by your ovulation. And the egg is there in the fallopian tube for 12 to 18 hours. There it is waiting for a sperm because they won't connect each other. And when there is a sperm, or more sperms of course, in this time, 12 to 18 hours, then the fertilization happens. That was the second step. In the third step you can see the way to your uterus of the egg which is connected with the sperm. And then there's the fourth step, the implantation. The way to the uterus takes about one week and then the egg with the sperm inside search for a good place in your uterus and when it finds the perfect place then the implantation happens. And when this happens only then there's the possibility that there is a hormone HCG in your body because then is the connection from the new life with your body. And at this time, and in the really early pregnancy time, then you can see the HCG and also of course when you are pregnant the second or the sixth months then of course you can also see this in your urine, yeah, this hormone. And the pregnancy test works so that when there's enough hormones of HCG in your urine, then the low-cost pregnancy test show you two lines when you are pregnant and the expensive one, clear blue, show you mostly in words or other things that you are pregnant or not. To determine the best time to make a pregnancy test, you have to know when your ovulation happens. To solve this problem, I am using the symptothermal method. Yeah, because of this uh, problem, I prefer the symptothermal method. You can see it on this picture, because then you measure your body temperature and can see when was your ovulation because there was a study and you can see it here on it's the body temperature measure points and on this you can see 
the first, second and third higher measurement and also the day before. One, two, three, four day before this first higher measurement you have a chance to have an ovulation which is two percent, then three days before seven percent, two days before twenty four percent, one day before twenty nine percent. That's the highest percent to have an ovulation on the day before your first higher measurement and also on the same day when you have the higher measurement. And one day after this first higher measurement you have also 11% that there was your ovulation. And the interesting thing is on the third higher measurement there are zero percent that there are uh, an ovulation. You can see in the picture there are four days when it's very effective when you have sex on these days that you get pregnant. I always took a pregnancy test seven days after my ovulation, indicated by the first higher measurement. So, and now I can tell you about my experiment, because you know something about the Simptothermal method and how I make sure that I know when was my ovulation and then how much days after my ovulation was the pregnancy test and so on. So, at first I tested the highly sensitive test and I can say this pregnancy test showed me my pregnancy really from the beginning. But of course at the beginning the second line was really weak and you cannot see it very well. But four days after the first test it was really clear that I'm pregnant and I have really clear second line. Because I wasn't sure at the beginning, it's the first uh, test, I take some urine also from my oldest son and test also one um, pregnancy test. And then I can compare it with my tests. And then I could see a difference because the test from my son was really clear white. On this point, on the test, where the second line normally is when you are pregnant and on my test I could see a really a little weak line on it. Now the really interesting thing is I tested not only this one, no, I tested also a not highly sensitive pregnancy test. This, this one did not show me positive until 18 days after temperature rise. Previously the test was only negative. This shows that you do not need to test so soon with this pregnancy test. Next test I make with the clear blue pregnancy test. The clear blue pregnancy test also show me that I'm pregnant like the first pregnancy test I tested, the highly sensitive test, it was positive from the 37th day of my cycle and it was 13 days after my temperature rise. I was really surprised by this result. Now my conclusion. Of course, you know I use the Symptothermal method, I use fertility awareness methods and I know very much about my cycle and other cycles of women. And of course I came to the conclusion that it's really easier when you observe your cycle with fertility awareness methods, of course. Also when you want to know if you are pregnant or not and then of course, you have to do it before you are pregnant. 
and then you can see your temperature wise then you can see also if the temperature is 18 days long in the high level then you know you are pregnant and I think it's so easy and I think all women have to know that there is a really simple method to use it and to feel the body and of course also to know if you are pregnant or not. You not need a pregnancy test at all when you have this symptothermal method and yeah, when you observe your cycle. And that's my message to you at the world. Bye. This was your end and it's the end. <laughs>